William, I understand you've been here since early this morning. Yes. Can you tell us what's going on here? Yes, yeah, so I woke up this morning, was very shocked at 8 o'clock this morning to go to my appointment. And I walked outside and I saw racial slurs on this building. I was very surprised. You know, I was very surprised. Not only that, I come back now at 5 o'clock, the police is on the scene. I had an opportunity to speak to the owners of the building to get a little impact of what actually happened. So what I found out was basically there was two owners who wanted to buy the property. One was Jewish and one was a black family. Somehow the black family won the bid over this property, over the Jewish people. And all of a sudden I woke up this morning with racial slurs all over the, the place. I hate black niggers. I, I was very shocked. So uh, the police came on the scene. So we know they're classifying this as a bias incident. Right? Yes, they are. All right. They are. And uh, you know anyone, did anyone told you that they saw somebody writing this up or you have no idea? Well, no, I know it must have happened between 2 o'clock in the morning a.m. because when I was out here at 12, 1 o'clock, I didn't see this writing on the wall at all. So it had to happen between 2 a.m., between 2 and 8 in the morning. But I know I do have a camera at my premises. I did give the police officer, the landlord, a connection so they can try to look at the footage to see do they have a suspect leading, leading from the scene. And Williams, again, what does that, that uh, writing says? Well, it said, I hate black niggers. I hate black niggers. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me just now get a, a closer shot to it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That was uh, Sylvester. <laughs> yeah, he's usually a pretty nice guy. He is a best man. 